All right, so I am here now with the official speedrun guide for the one-way challenge. Right now, before I add any more levels or uh, something else changes in the game, we'll find some new tricks. So the first five to six levels, it should just be straightforward. However, I will move in level four. There's a small little skip you can do um, on the ledge here. In the next case, you can move once. Just like that. Level five. Honestly, what I do is just make sure you don't go too fast, because if you go too fast, just drop around the edge. It's just pretty straightforward. And then now in level seven. Easiest way is just to go fast. It doesn't really matter. As long as you hit the things, you'll be good. Level 8 tower, one of the most annoying levels to make, should finally be fixed. Where you just you just hit the thing, go around. Not too far though. Too far, very bad. Uh, level 9. It's just play through the level. It shouldn't be that difficult. Um, however, level 10. As you can see, I have made a thing so you can see the actual end now. But, yeah. Uh, so, if you want to actually reach the end, the easiest way is to, as soon as you get up the second ramp before you start going fully vertical, just let go and then. As soon as you're about to hit the top, you start going, you start holding W again. And on the second round, just let go as soon as you hit the second part, and you should be good. Level 11 is probably one of the more fun levels. Uh, there's a couple skips you can do here. One, you can use that one and get a quick boost. If you're going fast enough, it can make it really easy. Or, you can do it the intended way, where you just go straight and not hit an obstacle. These obstacles though are pretty buggy and don't always register when you hit them. You see, I probably hit one right there. Yeah. Uh, there's also a skip I don't usually do because I find it pretty unnecessary. You can bounce and still hit the exit if you want to. It's not necessary to do that. Now, the worst level. Monstrosity. And this one is going to require a bit of explanation. So, I will see if I can hit this it's pretty hard. Let's go. But pretty much what you want to do is you want to go right, then left, to make sure you bounce. And before you hit the ground again, you want to hold W, so you start going forwards a bit and just launch up again. It will look somewhat like this. Like that. And then, it's pretty straightforward, just make sure you don't fall. Um, Big, or Big Tommy, it's, it's so much called. Uh, the person who found this glitch calls this Big Tommy Skip. It's not really a glitch, it's more a thing you can do. Uh, you need to hit that little obstacle right there, and then launch across and make sure you don't fall off on the right there. It's one of the hardest skips to do, and it, it, it does save a lot of time, but it's not always worth it to do. And it looks somehow like this. And that's small. This one is just a precision. Make sure you do this as fast as possible while not falling off, and not hitting the edges. I find it easier to do on the first one, just a tap, do the tap on D. And on the second one, just make sure you line it up and then just go forwards. For mines, I don't really have a specific strategy. I just go for this. You just want to make sure you make it across in any way possible. It's pretty easy to do. Just hold. A and W, and you should be good. Sometimes you can get a bit unlucky though with your bounces. That means you have to correct yourself. 
as you can see. And uh, that is it. Alright, so this is the ending percent, that's where you reach the normal end. To get the 100%, all you need to do is hold W for like 5 seconds. And then you will get the secret ending. You went forward. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's how to speed on this game efficiently. There's not much else to say on the second level. Go fast, make sure you make it. Zigzag. Make sure you don't fall off. And try and do it as fast as you can. And level 1 is really straightforward. If you want to, you can bounce there. I don't know if that saves anything yet. I haven't really used it in any runs so far. But it might save some seconds because you're not going up immediately and you're just going around. Level 6. Um, there's multiple ways to do this level. I like to do it just go around. Uh, but some people just like to use the walls to stop all momentum because they're too afraid they might get launched off, which is fair. Or somewhat just go through the thing. I There's a lot of things wrong with the engine. Uh, so if you go too fast, you just go straight through. Unfortunately though, that probably will not be possible the next time you try it. There we go. It's like a 50. Level 9. Uh, it's just a whole W simulator. Make sure you do not let go of W at all. And not move anywhere to the left and right while you're doing the jump. And once you land the jump, make sure you don't hit the red blocks. And um, yeah, that is pretty much it. I will be sure to update this game as much as I can. Um, I will be gone for three weeks later on. And I'm sure a lot of you will find a lot of great skips and ways to get that timer down. My record as it stands right now is 2 minutes and 58 seconds. It's It can definitely be improved as you can see on small because I got stressed. But if you need to get some reference, here you can see the big Tommy skip being used. And the monstrosity skip. Monstrosity skip is the hardest one of them all. And it's a really good one because monstrosity is also one of the hardest levels of them all. But yes, I am sure all of you will do great, and I wish you all the best of luck.